Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is a quick video to tell you the results of a poll which I put up. So YouTube now enables voting in polls to be put in the videos in the little card section. And in a video, I asked for some audience interaction. So this was the last supposed part of Hulkbuster where I stuck the very last parts on, or were they? And I put that out to you to decide whether I should carry on detailing Hulkbuster in more videos or whether I should do some other projects. Now there is still gonna be one testing video for Hulkbuster, which is definitely still happening for me to demo the whole suit, but I need to find somewhere suitable to take it because it's too big for the ceilings in my house. So the other options I gave were to make a propulsion device for flying like a real Iron Man suit, and the other one was to make a working exosuit skeleton arm that'll make me really strong like a real Iron Man suit. Uh, so let's have a look at the results. So anyone can see the results of the poll just by going to the video and clicking on the card section here and you can see um, in fact 55% of people were voted for the exosuit arm. Um, in fact those results have been fairly consistent since the very beginning but um, if I go to the admin panel for the video here and, and actually look at the results we can see who voted. So in fact 8,089 people voted and 4,488 voted for the exosuit power arm. So uh, that's pretty consistent, as I say, th from the start of the video being published, uh, seconded by the propulsion device. And not many people want to see more details on Hulkbuster, so I'm really glad I asked that question, and that's given me some direction for the channel. So it looks like I'm going to build a working exosuit skeleton arm, which is going to make me really strong. Um, I may expand that to build a whole suit, in fact. So it's almost Hulkbuster version 2, and I can see why people voted that way, because a lot of the other stuff in my channel is real engineering, building robots and so on, and less painting foam and things these days. So um, I've still got Project Ultron. That is going to be one of my regular Tuesday videos, coming every Tuesday. And in fact, that's coming up next Tuesday, so you'll notice Ultron's got a bit of a jaw attached, and I've got another piece here. So Ultron's getting his head, and that's happening on Tuesday. The one after that is going to be my other main project, which is my new bipedal android, which is going to be built like a Star Wars power droid or a gonk droid. And part one of that came out last week, so that's in my channel already, so you can check that one out. So I do have a few things coming up, including Star Wars Celebration Europe, which is basically the big Star Wars convention, and that's happening basically the weekend after the one we're about to have. So this video is going out on a Friday, we have one weekend, then Star Wars Celebration Europe's the next weekend. So I'll be up there for th all three days, in fact. I'm exhibiting with Blades Toys, who I work for, and I'll also have my 3D printed R6 droids and my BB-8 version 3. And apparently we're allowed to drive around the show with droids, uh, but the R2 builders have a 9 by 15 meter plot anyway to demo them, and there's lots of other things going on, so I'm going to be making some videos about that. And in fact, my Tuesday video the week after that is going to be my vlog of the event. And there's some more stuff coming up on that next week, because it's quite a big event. So I need to get that out of the way, I need to get my head above water, and then I can start on other projects. So I still need to do the smart panels for BB-8, revisit my R6 droid to at least stick its feet on, and do a few other bits and pieces seeing how popular that will be at Star Wars Celebration. I'm hoping there's an R6 droid in the new Rogue One film that's coming out at Christmas. And then I can hopefully go on with the exosuit skeleton arm. So that's going to be quite an exciting project. There'll probably be another intro video about that, talking about how I'm going to achieve it. Obviously, I'm going to use probably wiper motors, 3D printed gears and things, but printed in a very special tough filament and uh, lots of Arduino motor drivers and PID controllers. So the sensing on that's gonna be quite interesting. But there we go, I just wanted to update you on the poll and the future projects that I'm gonna be doing and what's going on now. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on all of those projects. You should also check out the social media links in the description to this video. And during Star Wars Celebration, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put quite a few pictures on Instagram, so don't forget to follow me there too. All right, that's all for now.